Hey, what's going on everybody? So I wanted to make this video for you guys because if you're like me, then you're super excited and stoked about Halo Infinite and especially being that the multiplayer is free. Uh, you can download it right now for free and play it kind of like Warzone or Apex Legends or anything like that. So I've been a, a Halo fan for years, years. I played Halo 1, Halo 2 back in the day and something about Halo Infinite the movement mechanics are off. They're wonky. No one's talking about it in these reviews. And I typically don't do this uh, type of thing. I'm not bashing it. They, they, they came out with a solid game. But the movement mechanics are some of the worst movement mechanics I've ever felt in a first-person shooter. They're, they're wonky. They're airy and spongy and, and, and just odd. They're just very, very odd. Um, and that's regardless if you're playing mouse and keyboard or controller. They're just very odd. And I play with an Xbox Elite controller. Uh, as you can see, I got some play buds on them. Absolutely work fantastic. I tried them on basic uh, Xbox controllers with, again, play buds. Use XYZ for 10% off. Um, but but it, it, it just felt strange, right? Like, the whole game is smooth. And I play on a 3080 uh, graphics card on my PC uh, with, you know, controller. I don't like mouse and keyboard. I grew up in the, the 90s, so I, I, I'm used to a controller. But they're just wonky. So what I wanted to share with you guys are my settings that helped me make the game more easier to digest more it's playable now it, it feels playable like when i was when i was sitting there yesterday playing halo i was like i'm not enjoying this game i i i, I am not this does not remind me of halo 3 or or the move the movement like older halo was just much smoother it was just much smoother there's no debating that it just felt weird right and i used to hold land tournaments at my house right there'd be eight of us and we'd hook up the xboxes and we'd be going crazy but something about this was wonky. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you my settings that you guys can um, duplicate to have a better gaming experience. Now, uh, let me turn the camera around so you guys can see it. And make sure, before we do that, make sure you guys are on the lookout. I'm a, I'm a filmmaker as well. So make sure you guys are on the lookout for Four Amigos. We'll be releasing it in 2022. And if you guys could, just stop by the Four Amigos trailer, which is like the second video down. Uh, just leave a like and a comment on it. I much appreciate it. It's a tuner film. Uh, so if you're into cars, you'll like that. But further ado, let's go to the settings. Um, so anyways, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings. On your controller... You're going to want to go down to sensitivity and acceleration and basically copy these settings. Um, look, uh, for the sensitivity and acceleration, the look acceleration, you want to do a 5. For the look sensitivity, horizontal and vertical, I have a 10. Um, but you can these two you do based on your play style. Whether you like it heavy, uh, quick, slow, this is on you. But everything else, uh, I would recommend uh, copying. Zoom sensitivity... For the zoom level 1.4, I got a 1.7. Uh, for the move thumbsticks, this is where it gets really important. Uh, basically an 8 on center dead zone. Max input thresholds is 0. Axial dead zone is at 8. For the look thumbstick, center dead zone is 8. Max input threshold is 10. Axial dead zone is 0. Right. That's all you're going to do there. Then you're going to go over to video. On Xbox, I don't know if you can do this or not, but I have mine set to 120. I don't really know if that matters. That just allows me to see it better. For the maximum frame rate. Now, mind you, the 3080 can, can do 120 frames in this game, no problem. I've done it. But set it to 72 and 72. Just keep it lowered. Turn V-Sync off. Um, and then for the regular presets, you can do whatever your graphics card um, can handle. Then you want to go to user interface or UI. Now, for some people, this may not be a big deal. For me, it bothered the mess out of me. So when you would hold certain guns, it would take up so much of the screen where I'm like, I can't even see what's going on, right? So you want to go all the way down. Also here, turn off... Um, turn off... Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
where is it at? There is a blur effect somewhere in here. You want to turn that off. That's just making your game work harder than it needs to. Um, weapon effects. Here we go. So, uh, I'm sorry, weapon offset. So in the weapon offset, you want to go, and I just put everything to negative 37%, and you go and do that for melee, pistol, rifle, heavy. This moves the gun out of the way, right? It, it moves it to where instead of it, instead of it like being over here, it'll like be over here so you have more room to space. You can do this based on your own preference, but I found negative 37% to, do, to be really good for me. Um, and that's it. That's it, guys. I hope those settings help. Um, they should help you make the game a lot more enjoyable as far as camera movement and mechanics. So, yeah, playbuds.com, XYZ for 10% off if you're on a controller. I promise you they help. Um, also, again, Four Amigos dropping 2022. Stop by the Four Amigos trailer on this channel and give it a like. I'd much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Peace.